The first big memory for cars would be mini stocks racing. So I started when I was eight years old. Came from when my parents used to bring me to rallies. Did the championship for about three or four years. Finding the, the right viewing point, getting up on the ditch. And I just knew from being behind the wheel at like that age, my future would lay within motorsport, motoring, cars. It'd be something to do with motoring. On this mega Supercars and shine and fun, yeah. I just wanna get to know you. Yeah, drop top driving round. Is it no bad than anything I told you? And when we're out of town, ooh, there's things I wanna show you. Yeah. Show you something. Um, so I went on a very similar event to the Cannon Run when I was 19. And it was great. It was still today the best week of my life because I was young, novice, hadn't seen or experienced the stuff that I have today. However, the organisation side of that business was very, very poor and I genuinely thought at that age I could probably do this better myself. So, four years later, we did. I heard about the Cannon Run um, through my nephew a couple of years back. Um, he was interested in, in cars and he came home one day after school and he said, the, the Cannon Run are in car. And we met Jay. The first run that I booked was the Mega Run. What to expect from Mega Run 23? A lot of luxury, a lot of beauty, a lot of scenic routes. We left, uh, the launch party was fan fantastic. We launched from uh, an army barracks, which was just very unique, very special. Um, we drove then to Luxembourg. Um, we had an overnight in Luxembourg, which was really, really good. We're out to the biggest go-karting track in France, which is gonna be phenomenal for all the drivers to get around. Uh, we hit a beautiful lake along the way as well. Uh, we stay in Annecy, which is literally the Lake District of France sits at the foot of the Mont Blanc mountains, which is obviously is visually very, very pleasing. And then the Italian Alps that we take down to Monaco this year are Phenomenal to say the least. The views are spectacular, the roads are unbelievable, the the whole feel of it. Italy, supercars, mountains. You can hour on the devil, but you ain't gonna hour on me. I would imagine it's what drugs feel like. You ain't gonna Arriving into Monaco was a great experience. Um, having everybody queuing up, going into the hotel, all the supercar spotters, taking pictures of the cars. It was a good, it was a good atmosphere, it was a good vibe. Um, the hotel, the Fairmont Hotel, I mean, you can't pick a better hotel in Monaco to be staying at, right on the hairpin. So we had two days in in Monaco, great party in Mickey Beach. So Monaco was fantastic. We left Monaco, then we drove to Bologna. The roads leaving Monaco, heading to Italy, are just phenomenal. The, the tunnel runs are spectacular. The noise of supercars going through the tunnel at a generous pace is, uh, is a sight to behold. We have these lovely stop-offs along the way on the, on the route, stopped off in Parma. Parked all the cars around in the courtyard of this beautiful um, place and we had Parma ham, all locally produced. We had a beautiful tasting of Lambrusco, um, which is really, really nice. Very unique to Italy. 
Then we stayed in Modena, um, which is a really nice town as well. And um, yeah, the next day we went to the Ferrari Museum, which was probably one of the highlights of the trip. Um, getting to see all the different models and makes of Ferraris throughout the years. Uh, really stripped back versions as well. I mean, you were able to see the full detail of the car from its shell all the way to being fully produced, which was um, a very unique experience. The Hall of Legends is actually spectacular. Most exciting point for me personally is not going to be any of the driving actually, so it's going to be the hot springs for me. It's very, very, very rare, very wonderful, very theatrical, so yeah, hot springs is the, the one I'm waiting for. We left Saturnia and heading to Rimini and we drove on these spectacular motorway roads that it was very, very, um, very interesting with driving in a convoy when you've got cars that can go fast. But Rimini is a beautiful uh, coastal kind of town, the hotel, I mean, there's nothing more words can say about the hotel, the hotel is spectacular. We had an all white dress party. Entertainment for the night was performed by DTG, Turner, SP. Party was cool, uh, had a great vibe. It was a nice way to kind of wind down for the evening and finish the run out, surrounded by everyone, you know. Goals for the Canon Run are to outgrow any other business that's within my industry. I've done 10 years of hard graft next year and there is no end goal for Canon Run. It's gonna be another 10 years of hard graft and another 10 years of hard graft until there's nobody that can compete with us. Price-wise, value for money, everything, the whole package it'll have every single aspect of every rally that you think is great under one umbrella for a reasonable price where you're not getting your pants pulled down and you most definitely won't get your start line shut down in central London. <laughs>